Louisiana Purchase by Mason, Josh, Jake, and Eric. America's Manifest Destiny was a way to expand America from sheet sea to shining sea. The farmers up north would send their crops and goods down the Mississippi River all the way down to the Port of New Orleans to then be shipped off to Europe. At this time, France owned the land where the river lay. This rose tension for farmers afraid that their ways of shipping would be cut off. Because of these concerns, Thomas Jefferson sent James Monroe to buy the port of New Orleans for $7.5 million straight up. This was a good deal, but at the time, the French were on the brink of war with Great Britain and could lose all that land to the British. So when James Monroe made an offer to Napoleon for the port of New Orleans, er, no, Napoleon said they would sell all of Louisiana to them for $15 million. Jefferson was so stunned at the offer that he bought the land right away. The new land they just bought nearly doubled the U.S.'s size. But there was a big controversy about the new land. Many people thought that the U.S. had bought the land for far too much money, yet others were very happy of the new land and wanted to move west because it offered a new life for many, including farmers and pioneers, not to mention the Indians, also seeking a better life than the reservations. Now that Jefferson bought the unknown land, what were we supposed to do with something unknown to us? So, he sent Lewis and Clark and a group of 45 people to survey the land in 1804. They started their long expedition in St. Louis, Missouri. They started the Missouri River to head north to and then moved west from there. When the group of when the group reached South Dakota, they met a group of Indians called the Sioux. They met a 16-year-old girl named Sacagawea. At the time, she was pregnant with a baby boy. After they built Fort Mandan for the winter, Sacagawea helped them with their journey to the Pacific. Along the way, they also brought along their journals to write an in-depth description of the land west. Their travels westward were not all milk and cookies. They encountered many dangers, including animals such as bears. They hunted animals like deer on their voyage for food. Once they reached the Pacific Ocean, they were exhausted and needed food and horses for the long trip back. Fortunately, they found Sacagawea's brother, who gave them the supplies they needed. Once they got their supplies, they hightailed it back to St. Louis, about halfway Clark split from the group like a banana, then found the group at Fort Mandan. Yay! Meriwether Lewis and William Clark finally reached their long, their long journey in 1806. From east to west, reaching as far as Oregon. After Lewis and Clark's expedition, an explorer named Zevon Pike went on another expedition to explore southern Louisiana. When he was exploring, he s saw a mountain, and you guessed it, he named it Pike's Peak. 